Hello and welcome to my F122 driver career mode here today for part 27 for the Belgium Grand Prix. Coming out of the summer break after what was a disappointing Hungary. But before we go to this Grand Prix, here is the qualifying report. So before we even got to qualifying, we had an issue that took some time out of our session. Which isn't very good because it's a very long lap round here. And eating into our time with an issue isn't very helpful. But as we come to the end of our very first lap in qualifying and it felt like a good one and it seems to be alright as we go through the first corner there was definitely some time on the table so I went through it again on the same tyres and I knew that there may well be more time on fresh tyres but we still we have a little more ball out of the final corner but we do go even quicker there up into P13 and now coming towards the end of our final run we've found over half a second on fresh tyres I knew it was going to be worth it as we keep the slide out of the final corner and we are going to start P10 for the Grand Prix World Champion Max Verstappen starts from pole position and it's Charles Leclerc in P2 considering the rest of the grid we have Perez, Hamilton Fernando Alonso and Norris. Sonoda, Sainz, Russell and Brown. Ricardo, Mick Schumacher, Alex Albon and Ocon. Stroll, Joe, Robert Schwartzman and Kevin Magnussen. They'll be starting further back after an earlier grid penalty. Gasly and Nicholas Latifi. It's almost time for the lights to go out. So let's head down to the track where preparations are underway. So it's a boring one stop as it always seems to be on this game at the minute. I thought about starting on the stops but what's the point of risking it? We're finally in a good position for once so just just follow what everyone else is going to do. Start on the mediums, go to the hards and can we get our first points since that sprint back in Austria? That feels like a very long time ago. We are racing here in Belgium and we get off the line quite poorly and we nearly hit Ricardo McLaren there before we even get to the first corner. Nearly clipping his rear tyre, that would have given him a puncture but into turn one we went for the dive bar and we've gained some positions as we head down towards Arridge. We've already got George which is good as we go a little bit wide and now it's impossible for us to get the Ferrari of Carlos Sainz as they're battling ahead, there's an Alpine, there's the other McLaren of Lando Norris and Sainz has been caught out here and we've sent it around the outside he's kept the inside line and now he makes us go wide, we go right over the kerb and now we try it again and Sainz has another wobble and we have to back out of it, we tried to keep it around the outside there it was always going to be difficult now Sainz is probably going to get away as there goes George down our inside we go very 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 wide and completely off the track there and keep the position I think we should probably give him that position but we're not going to it's on to lap two now and you can see Sainz is absolutely gone he's battling the Alpine as we went a little bit wide and now this is George ahead of us and George has nearly hit us and we have nearly spun there going through Blanchimon how I caught that I do not know but he doesn't do that and think he's getting away with it as this is um, Schumacher and Ricardo going wheel to wheel and Ricardo gets the job done on him good there for McLaren Ricardo rumours saying that he could well be considering his future and maybe retiring as there's a lock up or oh, Yuki Tsunoda cracking under the pressure of Carlos Sainz who needs to get his way through he's had a poor qualifying and now we're still on for round round two as George of course has overtaken us as he now looks to get past Tsunoda and Sonoda was helping us stick with the Mercedes and now even though we have very very poor straight line speed the DRS and the ERS is gonna drag us 
Master Mercedes, we're going to force him wide. I haven't forgot what happened at Blanchimon. And George has to back out of that one to avoid contact. And now can we get after Yuki Tsunoda? As we now head down the back straight, the Camel straight. Are we close enough to Yuki Tsunoda? We're getting closer and closer. And of course we are. We're going for the dive bomb. Down the inside. Same what we did to George. So now he has to back out of it. And now, unfortunately, this with this Aston Martin is an absolute boat in a straight line. You can see the overspeed and the difference between having DRS and not having DRS with this Aston Martin as Yuki Tsunoda re overtakes us there. As we try to go back through, and this is on lap 10, and George. We just keep nearly hitting each other today, I don't know what's going on. As he goes for a very late move into poo on there, and uh, towards the end of that lap, on lap 10, we are going to box to make our one and only stop of the day, followed in by Ricardo. I think there was uh, Alpha Tower in the background there, that is Lewis Hamilton, George and Yuki Tsunoda both stay out. And it's a good start for us onto the hard tyres we beat out Ricardo. And now, can we do the undercut and re overtake Yuki Sonoda? Possibly. As we come out of the pits, these tyres were very, very cold. I was really struggling on these tyres as we first came out of the pits. Through our ridge we go. And now, on towards the end of the next lap, this is George and Sonoda coming into the pits to make their one and only stop of the Grand Prix and George has actually got the jump on Sonoda there so that's good for Mercedes that's one less overtake for them as into the first corner me and Ricardo go and as the camera cuts the overcut has worked and we have been beaten out by George and Sonoda and now they're on cold tyres and now we're going to have to do something special we're going to have to send the dive bomb as here it is DRS and the earth to the max and now down the inside into the chicane job done on Sonoda copy and paste of a couple of laps ago and now this is Lando Norris who Mark told me had an issue and by the looks of things it's a big issue he was very 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 well in this race going well and now George is gone we, George we couldn't keep up with him Zenaida was really the only reason why earlier on in the Grand Prix we were sticking with him and he's got a big problem here as as Lando as we now try to go down the inside and do the dive bomb he closes the door and now as we go through the chicane we go a little bit wide over the curb and now there's a gap there and with no power for Lando we are going to go sailing around the outside down the inside for the next corner and that's what we attempted on Carlos Sainz on the opening lap but Lando is not giving up there as we have to go a little bit wide we stay on the track just and we do get Lando Norris but that was an incredible move if I do say so myself and with Lando's issue it allowed us to get away a little bit but now you can see the gap there but this is Sonoda now getting past the McLaren absolutely blitzing him it appears to be a big issue with that McLaren but Lando still fighting it he's got his teammate behind him next and Sonoda is through then not that many laps to go and now this is Ricardo surely should just be an easy swap of positions but Lando says no and Lando is fighting him but there's only so much fighting he can do and Ricardo is past his teammate and then after that we really up front were just keeping the gap we were trying to keep it out of the DRS as Magnussen's engine has gone bang for the second race weekend in a row he retired in Hungary and 
four laps from the end, he retires here in Spa. We were just keeping the gap to just over a second, but we had a very poor lap, and Sonoda broke the DRS. And now this is his one and only opportunity, surely, to nick our PA off of us. He goes to the inside, and we are holding it all the way around the outside. We're not giving up on this position. This is going to be our best result since a sprint in Austria. If you can even call that a result. But we are through on Sonoda. We stay ahead of him. And now I think that may be job done. I hope so anyway. Max Verstappen from pole position. Really going to try and get himself back in this hunt for the championship. He wants that number one back on his car. As he wins in Spa. Leclerc comes home for second. Perez completes the podium. As now there's one more opportunity for Yuki Tsunoda as we head into the final chicane and he hasn't been able to take it. Through the final chicane we go now and up to the line and we are going to get our first points since Austria. And that's the end of the race. See you in part Fermi. Many doubted whether they could pull off the win here at Spa Francorchamps. But they've done so in spectacular style. And talk to me. What do you think it was that sealed the win for them? Well, this was a real team victory. They put together a solid strategy today that appeared well suited to the conditions out on track. The driver did everything that was expected of them in the moment to really execute the team's plan to perfection. A shining example of how F1 really is a team sport. Here come today's winners. The team at Red Bull have done a phenomenal job recently. It's clear to see that they've put in the work and they should be proud of the victory they've secured here. So that's been your Belgian Grand Prix, very dramatic, bit of a slow burner, but there was still a lot of action in there. When I say our first point since Austria, it sounds good until you realise it was a sprint race as we retired from the Grand Prix itself after that engine blowout when we were on the podium at that point in time. We have moved up to P12 in the standings, which is always a good sign. Hopefully we can kick on now. We go to Monza next that I'm very, very worried for because this Aston Martin absolutely shocking in a straight line and that's the only thing you need in Monza. But we've had some crazy races in the past and on past games in Monza so maybe a surprise would be able to give us a good result there possibly but that has been the video the race you would have seen that nothing has changed in the constructors but i hope you enjoyed this video we head to monza next and hopefully just like it's been before in past f1 games past seasons we can have an absolutely incredible grand prix but until that video goodbye